Hi viewers, welcome to our channel. Today we learn study 8th science unit 4 heat lesson la book back answer full of in the mind. First woman choose the best answer. First one, heat is a form of dust. You have 4 options. Which answer correct? Answer C. Thermal energy. Second one, if you supply some heat energy to a substance, which of the following can take place in it? Answer D. All the above. Third one, which of the following substances will absorb more heat energy? Answer A. Solid. Fourth one, if you apply equal amount of heat to a solid, liquid and gas individually, which of the following will have more expansion? Answer C. Yes. Next fifth one, the process of converting a liquid into a solid is called dust. Answer C. Freezing. Sixth one, conduction is the way of heat transfer which take place in a dust. Answer A. Solid. Next second Roman, fill in the blanks. First one, a calorimeter is a device used to measure the dust. Answer, heat capacity of liquids. Second one, dash is defined as the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of a substance by 1 degree Celsius. Answer, specific heat capacity. Third one, a thermoset is a device which maintains dash, temperature of an object constant. Next, fourth one, the process of converting a substance from gaseous state to solid state is called dash. Answer, deposition. Fifth one, if you apply heat energy, the temperature of your system will dash. Answer, increase. Sixth one, if the temperature of your liquid in a container is decreased, then the interatomic distance will dash. Interatomic distance will dash. Answer, decrease. Next, third Roman, state true or false, if false, correct the statement first one the applied heat energy can be realized as an increase in the average kinetic energy of the molecules answer true second one the dimension of a substance are increased if the temperature of the substance is decreased answer false correct statement the dimension of a substance are increased if the temperature of the substance is increased Next, third, third one, the process of converting a substance from solid state to gaseous state is called condensation. Answer, false, correct statement. The process of converting a substance from solid to gas is called sublimation. Okay, solid state is the gaseous state changes are the sublimation. Okay, next, fourth one, convection is the process by which the thermal energy flows in solids. Answer false, correct statement. Convection is the process by which the thermal energy flows in liquids and gases. Next, fifth one, the amount of heat gained by a substance is equal to the product of its mass and latent heat. Answer true. Sixth one, in a thermos flask, thermos flask the silvered walls reflect and radiate their heat outside. Answer false, correct statement. In a thermos flask, the silver walls reflect radiated heat back to the liquid in the bottle. Next, fourth Roman match the following question. Conduction, liquid, convection, gas to liquid, radiation, solid to gas, sublimation, vacuum, condensation, solid. Is the answer? Okay, conduction, which answer correct? Solid. Convection, answer liquid. Radiation, answer vacuum. Sublimation, answer solid to gas. Condensation, answer gas to liquid. Next is fifth Roman. Consider the statements given below and choose the correct option. You could through Kangama statement over go over statement in the Marie four statement A B C ring four statement could through Panga. Either the correct in Nama Pakun and given the Nakur Kanga assertions and reasons on the Kuru Kanga. Other answer Pakla. First assertion and another radiation is a form of heat transfer which takes place only in vacuum. Reason on another the thermal energy is transferred from one part of a substance to another part without the actual movement. Of the atoms or molecules. This is the answer. You can see the four statements, four options. Both assertions and reasons are true, and reason is the correct explanation of assertion. Next path of Dina Bila. Both assertion and reason are true, but reason is not the correct explanation of assertion. C when the assertion is true, but the reason is false. D is false, but the reason is true. In the four, which answer is correct? In the question, first question path of Answer correct or answer on the B the correct. Okay, B the answer another 
B. Both assertion and reasons are true, but reason is not the correct explanation of assertion. Second one, Paklama. Second assertion reason could the Kangama. A system can be converted from one state to another state. Reason in other. It takes place when the temperature of the system is constant. This is the answer in and Pakla. There are four options. This is the answer. Which answer correct? Answer A. Both assertion and reasons are true, and reason is the correct explanation of assertion. This is the answer correct. Okay, wow. Next, sixth Roman answer briefly. First one, what are the applications of conduction in our daily life? Answer. First one, we cook food in vessels made up of metals. When the vessel is heated, heat is transferred from the metal to the food. Next, when we iron dresses, heat is transferred from the iron to the cloth. Next, handles of cooking utensils are made up of plastics or wood because they are poor conductors of heat. The temperature inside igloo snow house is warm because snow is a poor conductor of heat. Next path of the second question. What are the effects of heat? Answer the effects of heat or expansion, increase in temperature, change in state. Next third one. Name three types of heat transfer. Answer the three ways of heat transfers are conduction, convection, radiation. Next fourth one. What is conduction? Answer conduction is the process of heat transfer in solid from the region of higher temperature to the region of lower temperature without the actual movement of molecules. Next, fifth one, write a note and convex answer. Heat transfer from places of higher temperature or places of low temperature of by the actual movement of liquid or gas molecules is called convection. Convection takes place in liquids and gases. Next, sixth one, define specific heat capacity. Answer, specific heat capacity of a substance is defined the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 kilogram of a substance by 1 degree Celsius or 1 Kelvin. It is denoted by the symbol C. Next, seventh one, define one calorie. Answer, one calorie is the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water through 1 degree Celsius. One calorie is equal to 4.186 Joule. Next is seventh Roman answer in detail. Paklama first one with the help of a neat diagram, explain the working of a calorimeter. In the mari diagram is a calorimeter. Is enna parano drop it. Is the idle every work of the calorimeter every work panter of dinger pati. If you look with the via curve dinger pati pakla. In the major and the calorimeter la path of dinner, water rick inside la water rick must steer her color way rick next to the thermometer and the two holes then get the thermometer rick. The steer rick center like a power supply rick. Okay, wow. Okay, in the insulating jacket, where the raven there came metallic vessels when they did not a metallic vessel. Okay, when the marine image on the drop on the label panic in the marine and a part of the other next to the answer. Pakla, mom, the calorimeter is a device used to to use to measure the amount of heat gained or lost by substance. It consists of a vessel made up of metals like copper or aluminium, which are good conductors of heat and electricity. The metallic vessel is kept in an insulating jacket to prevent heat loss to the environment. There are two holes in through one hole a thermometer is inserted to the measure the temperature of the contents. A stirrer is inserted through another hole for stirring the content in the vessels. The vessel is filled with liquid which is heated by passing current through the heating element. Using this device we can measure the heat capacity of water. Next second question write a note on thermostat. Answer a thermostat is a device which maintains the Temperature of a place or an object constant. Thermosets used in any device or system that gets heated or cools down to a preset temperature. It turns an appliance or a circuit on or, on or off when a particular temperature is reached. Sometimes a thermoset functions both as the sensor and the controller of a thermal system. Examples of thermoset include building heater, central heater in a room. Air conditioner, water heater, oven and refrigerators. Next third question, explain the working of thermos plus. Thermos plus, drop and the image drop and the label. What are the parts of the thermos plus? What are the parts of the thermos plus? The bottom of the thermos plus is insulator support. Outer side is the outer side. Outer casing of plastic or metal. Outer side is the outer side. The vacuum, wet wind. Two walls on the irkon, the two walls on the silver inner wall on the silvered inner wall irkon. Abra hot coffee, ulon the inner example ka hot coffee solid kanga. Next day insulated cap, mala on the upper side like the insulated cap. The other image, thermos flask.
okay a thermos plus has double walls which are evacuated it is silver down the inside the vacuum between the two walls prevents heat being transferred from the inside to the outside by conduction and convection when with very little air between the walls there is almost no transfer of heat from the inner wall to the outer wall or vice versa conduction can only occur at the points where the two walls meet at the top of the bottle and through an insulator support at the bottom the silvered walls reflect radiated heat back to the liquid in the bottle next eighth roman higher order thinking questions paaklama first one why does the bottom of your lac not freeze in severe winter though the surface is all frozen answer when a lake freezes the upper layer freezes due to the contact with the cold atmosphere this sheet of ice does not sink as it less denser than water the ice sheet acts as like a insulator since the conductivity of ice is low so it keeps the water inside warm enough to be in a liquid form even though the water on the surface of a lake is frozen next second one which one of the following statements about thermal conductivity is correct give reasons first one is steel wood water steel water wood second one third one kuduthirukanga water steel wood fourth one water wood steel idla end which answer correct nu paakalama answer vandha nadhu b da correct the four option la b da answer correct adukku enna reason abingiradha paakalam okay va since the conductivity of steel is more than wood steel can absorb heat more faster than water and wood the wood has the least absorption of heat thus the order thermal conductivity is steel water wood okay va wow. okay students in the video ungalku useful ah irundhuchuna nama channel la like pannunga share pannunga subscribe pannunga thank you to all